This is Coogan Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Sheffield here, ahead of Brooke Spence this weekend at Bramwell Lane, making his matchroom debut. Jamie Cox, how are you, mate? All good, Coop. All good? Yeah, nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed? Nice and relaxed, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, press conference today uh, with you and Lewis Taylor, uh, which was before the main press, co press conference. Um, yeah, you said to him, he's got two chances to win the fight. Yeah. No chance and absolutely no chance. That's right. That's Is that right. how you see it, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I, I know I know Showtime and it's going up to a few Americans out there. So we're go, going to go NFL and the man's going to touch down. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. Definitely. Um, obviously, you, Eddie Earn announced you as a signing for him roughly a month ago. Just, yeah, more or less exactly a month ago uh, at the Rosado and Murray fight. So, got your date pretty quickly and then all eyes have been on this. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I've been training very hard now. Most already done over 200 rounds of sparring because of the stop start trying to get the fight going. Um, so it's been a long camp and I've been, I'm fully prepared and I'm looking forward to it. And, um, you know, Eddie, Eddie's putting on another superb show here, you know, to Cal Brook and Errol Spence. What, you know, you can see just from the press conference, the build up, everything is fantastic and, um, Great to be fighting for the WBA and to continent on the show, and uh, very grateful to Eddie. Uh, it's, it's great. It's been a question mark for a long time. How good is Jamie Cox? Yeah. Because we've kind of we've seen potential, we've seen snippets. Obviously, you've not been as active as yeah. you would have liked in your career. I think everyone knows that. But what do you put all that down to, or is it not just one single reason? Uh, there's a, been a bit of frustration and, you know, little bits and pieces, but, you know, I'm, boxing is my life. It's always been, you know, from amateur to professional, I work hard, I love the training, I enjoy every part of it, every aspect, and, um, you know, now, now, now here with the matchroom team, you know, that we're going to be fighting more regular, no, no, uh, no stress, and uh, makes mine, John, Dez's, uh, Cassim, all the, all the team's job, very easy, Dean's job, is, it's going to be good, yeah. Are you booking this as a complete new chapter of your career now? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, I've been working very, very hard and, um, you know, <coughs> Eddie's dangling that carrot for me all the time, you know, so that's what you want, you want goalposts and that, that, that's what I need, you want, you know, you know I, want, I want opportunities and, uh, you know when he's dangling them there, and you can you can reach him, and that and that's what he makes you a better fighter. So uh, yeah, I feel it's going to bring the best out of you. At some point in this year, we could be in a position where the UK holds the majority of the belts at the weight. Um, we've already got James DeGale. Uh We could have George Groves this Saturday. We could have Callum Smith at some point in the end of September, I believe. Yeah. So Eddie Hearn believes that at some point you're going to be in that mix which is where you want to be as well yeah definitely i'm just uh i'll be breathing uh, down the back of their uh, necks and um well, i'm not overseeing uh, taylor you know he's he's the man i've got to beat tonight so uh, tonight saturday so um yeah i'm just prepared for that this is the guy and uh this is all got to beat so uh, it's a big occasion so uh, you know you've got to take it all in and uh, go and do the job yeah absolutely before you can think of anything uh, further down the line, you know, there could be some huge fights domestically and possibly on the world scene at some point. But yeah. you've got Lewis Taylor Saturday night, and that's what you're obviously focused on. Yeah, yeah, I'm fully focused on that. And um, it's, uh, you know, it looks uh, it's going to be a spectacular event, definitely. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be part of it. When I interviewed you and Eddie Hearn together a month ago, obviously, we put that offer out there, you know, via, you know, social media if you like uh to the eubanks about you know fight jamie cox for free i'll put the money up fight him for free mm. um obviously didn't really get too much from you on that but um is that a fight that you still look at i know you're not looking past saturday yeah. but i'm just no. you know if it, after saturday yeah he's they're all in the pipeline they're all in the pipeline you know and um they know i'm dangerous they know, you know, dangerous, and when they get with me, they know they're in, they're in a real fight for 12 rounds, and that that, that is that is the difference. They have to prepare 130, 35 percent, 
and uh, they, they know I'm a serious contender and uh, they don't want me they don't want me on their tail so uh, yeah I'll make sure I get this win and um, then we can start talking about their names I mean, obviously you know when I interviewed you Banky he said that he'd never heard of you at the time um, and did you believe that at the time? <laughs> I did I listen he, he is what he is isn't he? They're, they're the Eubanks you know they're the, they're, they're the Eubanks they make me laugh but uh, yeah you know I'm, I'm a fighter and uh, listen when they fight me they, they will know about me and um, they already do know about me uh, boxing world is a small world 27,000 people at Bramwell Lane this week. Uh, it's a, a great place to kick off your, your matchroom career um, on the undercard of, like I said, a huge night for Kel Brook and obviously against Errol Spence, George Groves and Chudenov and Dave Allen fighting for a Commonwealth title. So um, if you could pick them, this would be one of the shows to be on. Oh, it's a banging, banging show. Uh, and uh, I look forward to all their fights. There's some, some big, big fights on there. and. Uh, I look forward to uh, <coughs> getting my job done and sitting down and watching the rest of the night. Have you always looked at it in your career? Um, it's a bit sometimes people get tagged as an, uh, an avoided fighter quite easily. If, yeah. if you know, because people never know the reasons why someone's called an avoided fighter because fights don't happen for various reasons. Not always to do with the fight. Sometimes to do with the trainer, the promoter, a mixture of different things, but. Do you believe yourself to have been an avoided fighter at, at different weights? No, well, I don't really know. I don't really know what people are thinking. I just know that you know I'm not I'm not bothered by anyone. I you know I prepare the best and I believe in my ability. I do what my coach says, John Costello, and um, you know I only hear that. All I can say is that I hear that from people that if it, you know you're avoided, you're avoided. They don't want to fight you. No one's a fighter. You know, now I'm with Eddie, he can make them fights, he's a man. The boxing's in, in the UK now, and that's down to Eddie Earn. He made it happen, look at the events, they're here. You know, it's not no bullshit. Eddie Hearn is the man who, you know, and uh, the, the champions that we have here is, you know, we have a depth of champions, and, um, you know, I want to be up there. Where is Rocky Fielding in your plans? Yeah, after, after, after this uh, fight, Taylor, you know, they're all in my, they're all in my side. But is it important for you to win that title? Uh, it's an option. Hmm. It's an option to me. And uh, if it's the best option, we're taking it. Hmm. But um, a lot of these questions can be answered, obviously, after Saturday night. Yeah. I, I understand it's your, your mentality. You're focused on Taylor and, you know, maybe after Taylor, with the options presented to you, yeah. uh, we can speak a little bit more about that. Definitely, so. definitely. I, I mean, obviously, get Taylor out of the way then and uh, get the job done, get the job done in good fashion and um, then we can start talking about some names, you know, we'll be WBA Intercontinental Champion and then we can start talking about who's next, who's next, you know, and I'm, uh, I'm ready to bite. How many times do you think you'll fight this year after, after this Saturday? I think, well, Eddie said four times, and, uh, but this is boxing, anything can happen. Mm. But, um, yeah, obviously he's looking to get us busy. So uh, you know, when I'm busy, I'm better. You know, the experience and staying in sh all the time, constant training and goals. You know, one fight, next goal, one fight, next goal. That's I'm happy. All right. Well, listen, Jamie. Listen, thanks for giving us um, some of your time today and uh, weigh in tomorrow, Saturday night. Let's hope the weather's like this anyway. Yeah. Big up to all the uh, support from. Uh, from Swindon and uh, in Birmingham, Donegal, it's uh, great, thank you. Got many coming down? Uh, a couple. Yeah. <laughs> All right, good man. Jamie Cox, thank you very much for talking to Apple TV, right, and uh, we'll catch up with you after your fight on Saturday. Cheers, Coop. Top man. Thank you, mate.